What's up guys, this is Ben, and if y'all have been wondering what I've been doing since VEX, I've joined a combat robotics club. The task is to build a three pound robot to battle to the death with other robots in an arena, basically robot cage fighting. Over two years, my team and I have been designing and building this robot called Liberator. Liberator is a horizontal undercutter, meaning it's basically like a lawnmower. And its design has changed over time. Our first attempt at a combat robot was in 2023 with Liberator Mark I. At our first ever competition, we found out that the robot had a few flaws. The gap between the aluminum armor and the blade was too small, so the blade tended to get bent upwards and wedged into the armor. It also tended to get stuck on its back. Even with these weaknesses, we placed fifth, which was pretty good for our first showing. In 2024, we wanted to be better. We went back to the drawing board and changed the entire design. The weapon has more clearance and doesn't bend, and we changed the weapon system from belts to gears. And now the tip of the weapon spins at around 250 miles an hour. The body panels are, ma are made from stiff carbon fiber panels, which are lighter than aluminum. With our next competition right around the corner, we ended up building the robot pretty last minute. Watch the rest to see how we did. Hey guys, so we're back in the shop. We got a little shop tour. That's Tyler. Hello. This is Wolfgang. Hello. Jordan's over there. And uh, we just got all of our parts in. We're almost ready to start putting it together. And get um, smacked by UFO. Oh, smacked by UFO? No, uh, no way. But carbon fiber plates, so clean. Here's Tom. Say hi, Tom. Hi. Hello. Get back to you with the time lapse of us building the bot. Yeah, we're all ready, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it is too early. So we arrived. We're here. Okay. So I'm gonna take a moment here to explain the insides of a robot. First, we have the battery, which powers the robot. These two are the motors, and they're controlled by electronic speed controllers, basically little chips that tell the motors how fast to spin. Next, we have the weapon motor, and this one's also controlled the same way. These are all connected to a receiver, and that's how the whole thing is controlled. So we hit the wall and our 3D print completely sheared off. Um, yeah, so that's our hub. And the blade is supposed to be attached to that hub. It's no longer there. So we're gonna put in more screws, hopefully it gets stronger. And uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen in a fight. So we're about to fight. I'm so nervous. First fight of the day. First fight since the test where our weapon blade flew off. So very nervous, but hopefully we'll get it. Let's get this fight started in three, two, one, fight. Going into this fight, my goal was to try to take off the wheels while avoiding weapon on weapon collisions. This is because Phantom's weapon blade hits higher than ours, and I was trying to minimize damage on our first fight. As we traded a couple of hits, our weapon was still working, unlike the first version of Liberator. This was a huge improvement from last year, as a result of switching from belts to gears. Phantom's weapon bolt ended up tightening as the blade spun, eventually locking up the weapon. When their blade stopped spinning, I full sent Liberator into their wheels, trying to take them off. 
Unfortunately, our weapon blade was so low to the ground that it didn't take any wheels off and it ended up just scraping against the bottom of their bot. Eventually, their bottom plate came off, along with their battery, giving us our first victory. Let's go! We finished our fights. We have, we, have, we have just a little bit of damage, but we knocked our battery out. The, just, the, just the PLA spacer broke, but honestly, everything's, everything just works so perfectly. Electronics good, drive is good, weapon is good. It's just, it's just today's a great day. So, we're on for our second fight. We're doing a new this design, we've never run this one before. We're doing our little protection up here. But um, hopefully we'll do well. We'll see if we're up against the wedge. Um, I don't know how much bite we'll have against the wedge here, but we'll see. Now wedges are usually better for horizontals to deflect horizontal weapons rather than forks, which are good for vertical spinners to put some distance in between you and the vertical. Three, two, one, fight! Just like the commentator said, wedges are hard for us to fight against because we tend to get deflected upward by the wedge. In this fight, our strategy was to outmaneuver the wedge and get around to the back of the opponent. It was really hard to execute this plan because we kept getting bounced off the wedge and thrown across the arena. When we land upside down, it's suboptimal because our blade is completely above the wedge, meaning we can't get hits in. So I spend the majority of the match trying to get back on the correct side. Leech ended up pinning me against the wall, which means I get extra points with the judges. Three, two, one. It seems like that's working out good. In this hit, we got super lucky and I glided up their wedge, knocking off their lifter attachment. With their drive slightly disabled, I go around to the back to finish the job. Come on. And we have more of that Liberator doing the damage now that Leech has limited mobility. Liberator, do we have movements? Or sorry, Leech, do we have movement? We got a big hit and our wheel fell off. And thankfully, Leech was already getting counted out, so it didn't matter too much. It was super cool that we can still glide across the arena with just one wheel in our blade. And there we have our second win. So we're just about to fight our sister team, UFO. And um, I don't know what else. we're getting liberated ready. Hopefully, everything goes well. I don't want to damage them too much, and hopefully, they don't want to damage us too much too. Because after after UFO, it'll be the finals against Spinny Boy, this vertical spinner that's just insane. So um, hopefully, we do well. Let's get this fight going. Three, two, one, fight. All right. Good spin up from both boss. So it turns out that the weapon falling off was just human error, and we forgot to screw in the six bolts keeping the blade on the hub. Luckily, we knocked them out with that hit, giving us our third win. We're about to head into the fourth fight now. It's the finals, the, the upper bracket finals. And uh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think we're gonna do, both in? I guess Spinny Boy. We're gonna shred him. We're gonna shred him. We're gonna liberate. Him. Oh yeah. Surface fight. Three, two, one, fight. Let's go about that good
ini. We lost. Spinny boy's too good. Um, yeah. Here's what we got going on. So I took off the, the, the motor, the screw sheared here. We have a lot of body damage. This is perhaps the, the last fight or the second to last fight of Liberator, depending on how it goes. Um, I'm nervous. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Three, two, one, fight. Oh, good hit there. Liberator's weapon is grinding on the floor, but... Hey, there we go. Good sports. Yeah, good sports t-shirt from the Liberator. We'd like to see... Oh, nice little jump there, Oscar. Good hit there from the Liberator. Huge hit there from Retap. Oh, it looks like that weapon might be jammed in some way. In this hit, three tappers sniped our 3D printer club and shattered it. Hit after hit coming from three tapper, not gonna let up. This concludes our competition. We placed third overall. so much for such an amazing event. Third place went to Liberator, all the way from University of Arizona. Yeah! Let's go! Speed! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah! Ah, yeah, yeah.